what is good osiris here stuck in the middle thank you for joining uh we're in a tough point in our country right now it's it, the point that we're at in our country is so difficult it's so tough that i don't think it can be overstated i don't think it's possible to overstate the seriousness of where we are in our country right now it's understand what i said there I do not think it's possible to overstate how serious it is. The, the story that's the number one story by far that's on my mind right now is the Leah Th Thomas, the s swimmer, and the reaction to it. I'm not going to be taking any sides in this video. I'm going to talk about a tweet and then some comments. I, I have great interactions on Twitter. I'm going to talk about the interactions and it's, this is a stunning moment where we are right now. And uh, it's somebody has got to figure something out. Some, we've got to be bigger people. I don't know what the answer is. Well, I'll end with what I think the only answer is, but maybe there's other answers I'm not aware of. The, the Leah Thomas situation, the reaction to it is very, very serious. So the first video that I woke up to, I can't even, I don't think I could even play it on YouTube. It was Kelly J. Keene, who was just on with Tim Poole, and she was having an, a discussion, you know, somewhat of an argument with somebody, and it looked like, I don't know if she was like exactly at that swim meet, it looked like she was at the Leah Thomas swim meet. But they were at some swimming pool, they were, the, that's re regardless, they were talking about someone's gender. And it just hit me, well, I've said it before, but it really hits today. A grown-ass woman, and again, I'm not taking any sides. I'm not, I'm not here to be against anybody. I'm just trying to figure out where are we at. A grown-ass woman and a grown-ass man cannot agree on what someone's gender is. When, when society has broken to that point, it's, everything is broken. There is, you have no math, you have no science, you have no biology, you have no structure, you have no social construct, you have, you have nothing. It's like, if we can't, even during the Civil War in 1860, they didn't have that debate. Not, not, at least not to this level. So this is a much worse situation in certain ways fundamentally socially or you could say it, it's 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 different but if you can't if we can't agree on on what gender somebody is then we can't share a society it's impossible without serious conflict so there was a picture the picture i used for the thumbnail of this if it showed i'm just sharing my twitter right now i, I put the picture in here but i don't remember where it is maybe i'll look for it real quick the the picture that really set me off on here here it is right here let me see if it's showing on the screen yes perfect this isn't i don't like this i know people are you know saying you know not i don't want to say excuses but saying hey i feel this way or this is a cultural war and I don't like this. This can't, we can't, and I'm not blaming anybody. I'm not blaming, I'm not blame, blaming Leah Thomas. I'm not, well, I'm, I'm, I, I do put responsibility on the people we elect to put focus on this. If, if you think that what's happening in Ukraine and Russia is more, more important to America than this, I, I really don't even want to have a conversation with you. Just because it's nothing against you, it's just that there's nothing for us to talk about. So you people might think Ukraine, Russia is a big deal. Go go ahead. But if I say what's more important to America, I I don't. There's nothing nothing against you. Maybe we'll talk about sports or something else. But we can't talk about this. This is orders of magnitude more important than what's happening in to Americans than what's happening in Russia and Ukraine. So I don't like this. I don't like this picture at all.
This is not the way. I understand. I'm not blaming those young ladies. What this picture is, is Leah Thomas by herself. And then the second, third and fourth place finishers huddling together. And I don't know, I'm not going to read their minds, but the impression that the picture shows is that they were saying we're the real one, two and three, which I, again, I'm not knocking them. Everybody just, everybody just runs to their side. This is a situation where I'm putting the importance of our nation over what goddamn side you're on. I don't care. I'm not talking about sides here. I mean, maybe we'll dabble in that, but I don't like that. That shows a problem. Like that should be like a red, that should be like DEFCON 1 to any elected official. Like what is happening? Literally society is fractioning in front of our very eyes. This should be the number one issue to say, whoa, 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 whoa. This is getting crazy. I don't like it. Okay. I'm not, that's not, won't be me. I won't be supporting that. And it's bigger than Leah Thomas. I mean, there's other people who might identify or, you know, if you go through, especially like if you're going through surgery to, to address how you feel, man, that's, that is serious stuff. We've got to respect that. There's a way to deal with this without disrespect. So they were booing. And I, I tweeted this. Oh, well, that's not the one. That's my, actually, that's my life. I'm looking at my own live. <laughs> Boomer moment. <laughs> um, uh, I'll find it here. So my my tweet was, I understand the concerns but I do not support booing Leah Thomas. Leah didn't make the rules aim higher. So if you're going to, and I, I'm really trying to break down. I don't, I'm not really good on the whole structure. I'm, I'm just now reading on how they're funded and what's happening. So I, I haven't really painted my picture on how to specifically talk to the governor or whoever, you know, the federal government, the roles they're playing in this. But I, 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 th that's what I need to focus on. I'm not focusing on boo booing Leah Thomas. I'm focusing on who needs to be held accountable here to figure something out. Aim higher. That's just what I say. But I'm going to read the comments. The comments are respectful. I mean, my timeline is typically they're siding on one side, typically. But I think they're all respectful. I don't have time for disrespectful comments. Now, there is a little bit of disrespect. I don't like using the wrong um, pronoun and all that. That's not, I just can't do that. If someone wants to be called a certain pronoun, that is, that to me, that has to be, unless you want to openly disrespect someone to their core, that has to be um, acknowledged and respected. So Audra says she disagrees as well meaning she disagrees with me here uh, because the because of the swim times, they're exactly the same as female and male. So even in the spirit of good sportsmanship, she should know that this is fundamentally unfair. So they're talking about how this is unfair. So they're trying to justify why they're booing Leah Thomas. So I said, I can't really argue. I'm not really looking to argue. I'm just saying it hurts to see this is what it's come to. I don't care. Again, I don't care where you're at. Does this picture make you feel good about our country or not? I, for me, it does not. So people were just saying, and I agree with this is um, actual justice. Thanks for the comments on, on Twitter. Actual justice said, but Leah is just the tip of the iceberg. They got other concerns. So it sounds like it's more not just about Leah or this type of thing in swimming or whatever sport. It's more into like, where does it go from there? That's where their concerns are. Okay. I, I, I'm not going to argue with that. Again, I'm not even going to be taking sides on this. At some point, we got to figure out what's going to happen. Like we, we've got to split up or do something because this is it a tenable situation? 
So most people on here were saying, yeah, I'm going to put responsibility on Leah for this. I have to look it up. Somebody asked me, how do you know that Leah didn't, wasn't in the part of making the rules? I don't know that or not. Because I said, you got to aim at the rules and not just changing the rules or whatever, but just they've got to understand what the impact of the rules are on society. So whichever side you're on, my main goal is how are we going to handle living together under the same government? Mary, if, if there are more Marys out there, I think we'd be able to figure this out. Uh, Mary was like, she's also not for bullying Thomas. She's saying that the bullying is a commentary of the situation here. So I, I think that's respectful. So if you're on the side, if I could say, of Leah Thomas, then how do we... I don't care which side you're on, but if you're not thinking about how do we, how are we going to move forward as a society, then I don't have time for you either. You're just, you just want to break up. Then go ahead and say it. If you're on the, either side and you're, and you're like, uh, and you hear me and I say, well, my concern isn't the sides. It's, I see the foundation, the basement. I'm recording in my basement right now. The foundation, the basement of our country the union everything is cracking and you could say maybe that's a good thing i've been calling for a decentralization you could i could i could understand that argument but if if you are more focused on your side than me saying how are we going to handle society whether that's a breakup or not then you need to just acknowledge you want to break up just say it and then maybe we can work on that instead of focusing on which side we're on I'm just going to, I'm going to end with this here. Actual justice said war is rarely fair. He's talking about when he says war is rarely fair, he's talking about we're in a cultural war. He says, do protest, do protesters feasibly aim higher? They should, but no, you're right. They don't, you know, burning down their own neighborhoods and local businesses. No, they don't. I've given hours of thought to this and see no approach. I'm with you. I've given hours of thought to it too. That's that's who asked me if Leah had no part in changing the rules. I don't know. So I said it's fair. This is a social and cultural war. My standpoint is just tough to see our country like this. This is an extremely serious moment that we're in. And I said, I don't know about Leah changing rules. I, I have no comment on that. But um, actual justice commented and said, thank you. I wasn't just being rhetorical when I said I asked for thoughts on how to take this war to the point of origin. So he's trying to take it back to the origin. I don't even know if the origin is going to fix. I think the origin goes to China. That's just my opinion. And um, I don't know if that's going to help us get out of this. I, I really don't think even talking about that. I want to I wanna talk about the origin just to acknowledge it, but I fully admit that talking about the origin is not going to get us out of this. So that's that's I'm not even talking about the origin in this. So he he equated it to how to get to the Death Star. And I don't know what he means. I kind of know what he means by it. But what I would say the Death Star is, is this divide. How do we stop the divide? So we don't have to agree. But how do we stop the divide so we can find some type of common ground? We got to start with man and woman. We got to we got to figure that out. What's the if we can't agree on that, then it has to split out. I mean, that's like saying, I think one plus one is two and someone else thinks one plus one is three. We can't live together. Like at, we can't even, we can't share anything together. You're in a different reality. And I, t I know the math problem, one is right, one is wrong. But in this problem, it's a social battle. So not even, no side is right or wrong. You could argue that when you get to biology, but I, I think you understand my point. So I quote tweeted this because I, I just thought it was like a, worth a separate thing i said ultimately all signs lead to china's influence they dropped a weapon more powerful and efficient than a nuclear bomb neo-marxist philosophy so it's one thing to believe in the side and i guess i'm attributing some of this to the side that believes in neo-marxism but both sides are at fault that it's one thing to believe it the it's another thing 
to look at people who disagree with you. So if you believe in Leah Thomas, great, fine. I have no beef with you. I have no beef with Leah Thomas. But if you look at people who disagree with it as some type of oppressor or enemy, that's Marxism. That's at its fundamental core how Marxism works. And it's not, it only leads to conflict. The whole point of Marxism is to lead to conflict. So you can have your belief without thinking the other person is a bigot enemy or whatever. Unfortunately, I see no way out of this other than suffering hard times. Times so hard. This is how I would define hard times. We need to be, I don't know what it looks like. If it's aliens coming to destroy us or a nuke or Biden and terrible policies with inflation or whatever. I don't know what it looks like. But what it, whatever it is, it forces us to think about survival instincts, our natural survival instincts, more than which side of this debate we're on. When that happens, then I think things will turn around. That's the only way I see it. And that doesn't mean that's the only way. I'm just, but that's the only way I can see. Let me know if you see another way. I'll look at the chat uh, real quick after I share this experiment, which describes, I think, what's happening. There was this experiment that was done on, on a, you might have heard, I, I don't know if this is the one Tim talks about, but I've heard Tim talk about it and Luke Radowski. This is, there was an experiment about a mouse utopia. Now, I don't think we live in utopia, so I wouldn't describe it as that, but it's the, the key thing of this experience, uh, this experiment was they took mice and they tried to make sure they had everything they needed. So he enclosed four pairs of mice in a metal pen, complete with water, tunnels, food bins, nesting boxes. He provided all the food and water they needed and ensured that no predator could gain access. It was basically a mouse utopia. His intent was to observe, observe the effects of the mice on the population density, but the experiment produced results that went way beyond that. I shall largely speak of mice, but my thoughts are on man, he would write later on. It's a hell of an experiment. At first, the mice did well. The numbers doubled every 55 days. But after 600 days with enough space to accommodate as many as another 1,600 rodents, the population peaked at 2,200 and began to decline precipitously straight down to the extinction of the entire colony in spite of their material needs being met with no effort required. He said the turning point occurred on day 315 when the first signs appeared of a breakdown in social norms. Does that ring a bell to anyone? And structure. We don't agree on what a man or a woman is. I don't know what, what could be more of a breakdown than that. Aberrations include the following females abandoning their young, Males no longer defending their territory and both sexes becoming more violent and aggressive, deviant behavior, sexual and social mounted with each passing day. It sounds like TikTok. I mean, it just sounds like life right now. The last thousand mice to be born tended to avoid stressful activity and focus their attention increasingly on themselves. Sounds like Instagram. We're all guilty. I'm well, most of us uh, of it to some extent. Some people call this one of the most important experiments in history. These mice, there were certain mice growing into adulthood, exhibited an even different type of behavior. He called these individuals, these mice, the beautiful ones. Their time was devoted solely to grooming, eating, and sleeping. They never involved themselves with others engaged in sex, nor would they fight. All appeared outwardly as beautiful exhibit of the species with keen, alert eyes and a healthy, well-kept body. These mice, however, could not cope with the unusual stimuli. Though they looked in inquisitive, they were in fact very stupid. This is where we are. This is the term behavioral sink, self-destructive nature. Maybe there's nothing we can do to avoid it. But I think the bigger picture, better, you know, avoid it or finding a, a soft landing.
Let me look at some comments here. I just did this impromptu to get off my chest and I'm going to be out. Um, see what people have to say here. Thanks for stopping by impromptu live. The social war might continue. Isaac Hull, thank you for the comment. The social war might continue till it accomplishes its goal. I'm not sure on that part yet. That's what it looks like to me. Isaac Hull says, follows up, says the goal is the greatest leap backward for the um, coercionist world west via great leap backward reset. Um, I'm not familiar with that terms. Let me look that up. Sorry. And I, I think I know what it means. You're talking about. Um, let me see here. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Sarah and Darren the Monier. Everything woke turns to S. Friend of show, Isaac. Friend of show. Thanks for stopping by. Um, that's uh, wasn't that? Did Trump was Trump the first one to kind of coin that, make it big? Uh, Milgram. Let me see this. Uh, Milgram. Experiment, milligram experiment, and the beautiful ones, mice experiment, and now we have humanized mice lungs thanks to <laughs> planned parenthood. So th th this is, I find that, I find this interesting. China's investing in Hollywood. Hollywood, China's heavily invested in Hollywood and universities. And Big S says China promotes masculinity. I'm not saying that, that China's right or anything. I'm just comparing to like, look at chess. It's almost like chess. I'm looking like, okay, what are you doing? You're doing that, but the companies you fund in the U.S. are doing the opposite of what you think is best for your country. Somebody help me understand that. that that's a simple way to look at it, and I'm not saying China's right. I'm much more open-minded than that approach. But help me understand why the country, in their country, they're doing this, in in the businesses they fund over here, they're doing the opposite. Why is that? Okay. Well, I uh, thanks thanks everybody. I gotta uh, get out. Sorry, I couldn't read all the comments. Um, put more comments in there. Uh, stop on by. Uh, let me know what you think. And at the end of the day, we got to figure a way out of this. I think we will. I don't know if it's gonna be the hard way or if there's an easier one, but we'll we'll find a way out. Take care.